Hey, I'm Brandon, and today we are checking out the Nolan N70-2 GT helmet. Now, this is an updated version of the original N44. Very similar design. That one came out about uh, 2014, if I'm not mistaken, and this one was released in 2018. Now, it is a modular helmet technically, but modular because the actual chin bar comes out of the, of the helmet. It doesn't roll back like the shield does or anything like that. This actually is removable from the chin. We'll get into more of that in just a moment, but pretty unique unique design overall. But before we get into those nitty gritty details, I do want to talk about the price and just some of the other features here. So you're looking at $330 to $360 bucks depending on the size you go with. And you're looking at a polycarb shell with uh, two shell sizes and two EPS. You're looking at that size breakdown. It's going to be an extra small to a size medium, and then it's going to go up to a large to 3XL in that other shell design. Personally, I would like to see more shells uh, in this particular price range. Usually three shells is, is kind of standard, um, but not going to knock them too hard because it is a bit more of a unique design. But again, polycarb shell, two shell sizes, and two EPS. You're looking at a DOT only certified helmet, three pounds, 12 ounces in a size medium. So not the lightest helmet out there, but because of the additional mechanisms, because we have an internal sun visor, that's gonna add a little bit of weight there. So you are sacrificing a little bit of weight savings for some additional versatility. Now the internal shape is gonna be an intermediate to round oval, a bit more elongated front to back than it is going to be side to side, but not a traditional intermediate oval internal shape. Just something to keep in mind there, intermediate oval to round oval, kind of right there in between. So let's talk about some of the features here. First and foremost, we got some ventilation here. This just vents right to the shield um, and you'd really have to be kind of ducked down in a pretty aggressive stance to get uh, some significant airflow moving through there. So kind of unique uh, design there, um, but it is pretty open. And of course you can always open the shield if you need more airflow, but don't really love that design. Now moving to the top of the helmet, I really don't love these. This middle vent, not too bad, but I actually have to set it on the table to get those two open with a gloved hand. Good luck, not gonna work very well for you, but you do have some additional ventilation on the top and then you've got some exhaust vents towards the rear, which is obviously gonna pull that airflow through the helmet, through the EPS, just to help keep you nice and cool. But I wish these uh, vents open and close a little bit easier, even just closing that one, pulling it open, it's just, just doesn't feel great. So I think a little bit more refinement on those would have been really nice to have. Swing it over here on the left hand side. We do have a door to accommodate the Incom system. And then at the back of the helmet, you've got a little slot here and that's where that battery is going to go for that Incom system. It is designed to fully integrate into the helmet. I will note that you can add your own Bluetooth system if you wish to do so. Very easily can do that. I kind of like going that route personally because then I can transfer that Bluetooth communication system to an alternative helmet down the road if I wish to do so. Whereas the Incom system is really designed for this specific helmet or you know maybe a few alternatives within Nolan's line, but you will be restricted to having a Nolan lid. So just something to keep in mind there if you're looking around for Bluetooth units. I do like the internal sun visor. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I like the spring-loaded action there. It's, it feels really nice, very easy to manipulate, um, and, and very easy uh, to utilize even with a gloved hand. Now, I do wish it would go a little bit lower. Um, it's a little bit lower than some of the other models I've seen within Nolan's line, but I still think it could use a little bit more there, in my personal opinion. So, just one of those notes there. It, it could definitely go lower. Maybe on the next iteration, they'll address that. But overall, pretty straightforward with the overall shell design. You can see these winglets as we get towards the bottom, and that is designed to help with stability uh, when you're riding with any serious speed. You can actually remove these if you wish to do so. It's kind of this TPU material. Um, but yeah, you see that on the GP grid a lot. I don't know if a lot of people are gonna be riding that fast to uh, really see the, the big benefits of these, but again, something removable if you think it's a little bit gimmicky. Now let's take off this chin right here. You can see these two metal tabs. That was pretty easy to remove. It's just as easy to put back on. But you've got these two metal tabs right here. You just squeeze those, and that's just gonna allow you to pull the, uh, the chin right out of place. Pretty straightforward, very easy to uh, manipulate and remove. You can also remove the face shield if you wish to do so, and it's actually got these plates on the sides. You can actually cover these up and give it a more, uh, you know, kind of clean design if you want to remove the shield and just rock it, you know, as an open face helmet with an internal sun visor. Additionally, you do have a peak visor 
included as well. So if you want to throw that on top, you can certainly do so. Uh, as Pat likes to say, choose your own adventure because you've got some versatility with this particular lid. Now you can see that these are open, right, on the side. And just to clean that up a bit, they actually give you these, which will slot right into place and that'll cover that up. Very easy to, uh, to remove, to put into place. Um, very simple design. It's very easy to transform this helmet depending on what you're looking for and what you're hoping to do with this particular lid. Let's swing on over to the inside of the helmet. Now, one of the first things you'll probably notice, go ahead and close that, make it a little bit easier right now, is these elastic pull tabs. You're gonna see on the interior liner that as you pull on these, there's like a secondary liner more or less tucked in underneath there. Um, so as you pull on these, it's gonna cinch it down and create a better seal around the neck. I think that'll come in handy if you're riding at higher speeds and wanna try to keep some of the noise levels low, or if it's in the winter uh, or it's cold outside, you wanna keep and help retain as much heat as you possibly can. I think that's the major benefit there. Might be a little bit gimmicky to some. I did throw it on. You can certainly feel it um, and you can hear the difference when you're riding. If you cinch those downs a little bit more snug, it's not dramatic, but it's certainly there. Now, Nolan helmets are made in Italy, 100% manufactured in Italy. So really at this particular price point, I was expecting you know a little bit more refinement and you hear that? Like, it's not too confidence inspiring. You're gonna hear a bit more of that squeaking as I start pulling this liner out. You can see you've got a ratchet system there for the, uh, for the chin straps, but let's go ahead and take this out and take a quick look here on the inside. So it might take a little bit of wrestling here, but I don't absolutely love how rickety sounding this helmet is, right? Let's go ahead and rip that out, get that out of the way. And you're gonna see something on the inside here that's also gonna be a little bit uh, finicky, if you will, and kind of an interesting design, but it was designed on purpose. And as you can see, this all kinds of, kind of comes out in one big piece there. Just putting these ratchet straps through. There we go. So there's one big piece. Got the headliner, you've got the cheek pads, everything is all integrated there. It's not too tough to remove, a little bit finicky, uh, but once you do, it's not too bad. Now look at that. This is the thing I wanted to, to point out. As I pull that liner out, part of the EPS is coming out. This is just a simple foam pad to you know, plug that up for the speaker pockets, but that is unique. I've never seen that before, and frankly, it doesn't make me feel very confident <laughs> being able to pull out a chunk of the EPS when I'm removing the liner. Um, spoke to Nolan about that. They said it was by design. As you can see, it just slots back in place, so not a deal breaker, I guess, but just kind of unique. I, I don't really love that. Uh, again, just not something uh, we've seen before in, in helmets in the past, but you do get a speaker pocket right there on the inside and as you can hear I mean I'm barely handling this thing and it's pretty squeaky so again I think the refinement needs to be improved on this particular lid and I hopefully you know moving down the road we'll see some of that uh, with this particular helmet in the future not a lot of air intakes or deep channels I should say for the air to circulate and I think the ventilation could be a little bit better in my personal opinion I like the versatility that it provides as far as you know being able to wear this you know with the shield down and then you've got the internal sun visor you can take the shield off they're on the peak visor so I like the versatility here I like the idea that it's providing but again I just think a little bit more refinement would have gone eh, quite a long way but of course if you're looking for more details click that info button that's gonna take you over to the product page you can take a closer look at this see uh, the additional sizes and colors available for it. and if you have any additional questions about this helmet or any other gear you might be looking at don't hesitate to reach out to our customer service team they're all riders more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the Nolan N70-2 GT helmet. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.